if I if I were king of the forest, or perhaps actually if I were secretary of energy, the first thing I might do might be to somehow enable domestic hot water. New construction has to have solar hot water systems. Even in exotic places like Minneapolis, these systems can be very effective if they're designed properly. You go to a place like Phoenix, everybody's got electric hot water heaters or gas-fired hot water heaters. Meanwhile, it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And a huge amounts of energy available for free right there on your roof. What we really need is a way to store enormous amounts of energy. And we don't really have that right now. We have, what we do in, in a hydroelectric dam, that's really good. And you could say uh, piles of uh, coal dust are really good. But in general, uh, really good ways to store huge amounts of, of electrical energy are not really available. So I'll say the thing that I'm charmed by is the hot salt, where you melt sodium chloride, regular table salt, perhaps with some additives to help it flow and this and that, and you store huge amounts of heat, presumably underground. And then uh, when the wind's not blowing or the sun's not shining, you would use that heat to run a sophisticated heat engine, something akin to a Stirling cycle engine. But this is a big idea and you can't, this is a big idea and you can't have it freeze, as the saying goes. You can't have the salt turn to a solid and plug everything up. It's not a simple problem, but that's one idea I think it's definitely worth pursuing. At my house, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an eccentric guy. Instead of owning, let's say, for example, a sport utility vehicle that costs over $50,000 US, instead I have four kilowatts of solar power, 4,000 watts of solar power. I have a domestic hot water system, and uh, I have it arranged so that it's five degrees Fahrenheit or two degrees Celsius cooler on the kitchen side than on the shower side. And this is, uh, saves me a tremendous amount of energy. And then the other huge investment that I have made at my house is replacing all the windows. The windows cost a lot of money, but man, do they look good and they keep the place so much cooler in the summer than they would have been otherwise. People don't think about that. They think about staying warm in the winter. And it does that, but it really keeps it cool in summer, and that just makes a huge difference. I gotta fly. Bill Nye the Science Guy.